We are Story Fam. Before we get started, <sighs> you get nothing. You have to deal with this on your own. All right, too bad. This is a hard episode, guys. This is a hard, hard episode. I mean, that's just. Why don't we just start at the beginning? So, the dream sequence was weird. And we really didn't serve much of a purpose. Unless it's like it foreshadowing. Just Maybe. Maybe it'll serve a purpose later. Yeah. yeah we will. I'm happy we got to see Benny again. Even if he was yeah. dying. Even if he was for like a second. I could. I don't but remember it was Benny. Benny. Yeah. I liked Benny. Well, Benny actually played two separate roles. Remember, he was a vampire who was in the whole uh, vampire nest that didn't actually attack humans. But they were going to be killed by the Winchesters anyways and by uh, Sterling K. Brown. Remember when he was on I, I Supernatural? Remember. He was a vampire then, and he was also good at that. But then, later on, he comes back, and he's a completely different character, completely different vampire Benny. I, I just, I, I, never, I always forget his face, so I, like I can never play something until you said Benny, and well, Dean said Benny, and you were like, <gasps> <laughs> no, I said it before Dean did, I oh. was like, is that Benny? And then it was like, Benny, and I was like, oh, yeah, it was Benny. So, it was Benny. It was Benny. so that was weird. If you didn't catch that. Um, honestly, the whole plot line, which one of this episode confused? I mean, the whole plot line, when I think about it later was kind of generic, I think. The only real subversion is the fact that parents were so protective of their son that letting him you know, rip a girl apart and yeah. be okay with it. They're like, well, what, what does Barry send in the backyard? And I felt kind of bad for the kid. I'm going to I think that was the point, though, since Becky said Chuck's writing was like just not original. I don't, and I don't think... I don't think but he was writing that I'm thing. not sure he was writing that story. There's a chance he was, but I really don't think he was. I think he's going to put whatever he's going to do in the play, in the motion. But I don't think it was that. I, I don't know. I think it probably was. No, I mean, maybe, but... Chuck? I would like to say, I love sadness. I love the heartache of it all. I love the pain and the fighting they went through and <sighs> my favorite movie is Gone with the Wind for Christ's sake, which nobody gets a happy ending in that one. So <sighs> David had asked me if I wanted to pause the show. He then had to take the remote controller off of my tray and pause it for me because I just I was never a huge fan of Becky. I mean, I get that she's like representative of the fangirls and all of us and all of that. And but it hurt. It unexpectedly hurt. It honestly, it took a little bit more out of me than Rowena did. Like when Rowena did, it was like there was a purpose behind it. She did it for them, and it was like it hurt. But it was you know, kind of ending. Yeah. But then it was just Yeah. Uh, well, one. Last last review I talked about how this is her full arc. She died a hero, but you're right, Becky was just, was this, just this, this is the thing I don't get. And I mean it's not like they're gonna save her later because they don't know she's nobody's gonna know she's gone. She's just and her husband and her kids and I get why they didn't show the kids that I am grateful for I am really grateful and I think it was great directing you know and all that but it's still I think if we had seen the kids it would have been even harder but Jesus so, but here, okay so here's the thing I keep coming back to I've mentioned a couple of the reviews so Chuck is God and I couldn't understand. This is what I'd expect from God. What he did 
to thank Gene Hanzo. He's Thanos them basically. Mm-hmm. So he's pissed at Sam and Dean the end of last season. Mm-hmm. Why didn't he just do that to them then? Because he wants to make them hurt. It's the only conclusion but I can come to because he's a petty bitch. But but this this is the moment. Was this necessary? Like like I didn't feel like the beginning of the season was god level. Like Chuck had started the apocalypse again apparently. But it didn't feel like it was really a god move. It was just like, oh, the ghosts are coming out. But the world wasn't ending. They weren't coming out everywhere. Just this one spot. But that, that whole... Just... Dust. Did you feel the hopeless guy? I mean, I know I said I wanted, like, a sad ending and I don't want them to be all cliche and everybody gets a happy ending but I feel like there's just no there's just no hope yeah I mean <laughs> kudos to the writing I mean She wasn't a threat, she wasn't hurting anybody, she finally grew as a character, and then she just, she was just gone. <laughs> she was just gone here. I was all like, I'm gonna have Kotu in the next video, I'm gonna be funny, I'm wearing my Grinch one day. <laughs> I won't get any of that, but okay. <laughs> Max, Max. You're gonna knock stuff over. Okay. Calm down. He's just worried. I know he's worried. <laughs> Guys. They don't have a chance. I mean, they really don't have a chance, and they don't even know it. They think everything's... They're like, God's gone. But he's not gone. Becky's gone and her whole family's gone. There's no hope. Guys. So, I think we can say that the quality of the writing was good. We both agree, all agree, well, I agree that the direction was good in the episode itself. What are you thinking, Julius? You haven't said much? Mm-hmm. You haven't said much, what are you thinking? Same thing. Okay, but whatever, review is say it. Tell us what you're thinking. And yeah, basically already said it. <laughs> Do you think they have a chance? No. Oh, I do. I mean, it's a wrong season, so we really don't know what to expect in at the end. I heard that the writer said that there's going to be no happy endings. I mean, there's a way to know to write it for your debate, and on the level of hopelessness, and they're going to really upset a lot of people. Which could be what they're going for, but I have a feeling they don't want to do that because then it might be harder for those people to get jobs <laughs> later on. Oh, you worked on Supernatural last season? Fucking hated that season, man. No, you're not getting hired. Um, I don't know. I but mean, it's still amazing writing. And if they move people. But I mean, I could see where it got it. Even if it is it. moving them in a negative way. At least it's better than Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. They could I mean, just like. I can see a couple ways. Most of them revolve around mm-hmm. Amara Amazing. getting involved because she's really the only thing right now that can compete. Mm-hmm. See, we kind of got like minor spoiled when we knew someone was coming back. Because Google was like, you know, um, how do they bring back? Question mark, question mark, question mark. 
We think maybe like Crowley. That was like no, a hope. We we didn't think Crowley. We said it was pos- that maybe they were talking about him, but more than likely not because of the way things ended there. We or Crowley Gabriel. Yeah, yeah we Gabriel. Maybe Gabriel. We been, I mentioned Charlie at one point. But none of us even thought Becky until no. we saw her in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it was then when we saw the man. previously. Yeah. yeah. And she usually, usually those then give you a good idea of what to expect, but. I don't think anyone expected that much. No. They could have shown us a picture of Thanos. <coughs> would have expected it then. Basically what no, it could have been like all of them, and it could have been Becky, and then it could just you could just see, and then now. <laughs> just so like Chuck must like live in her house now or something. I guess. Hmm. Damn. Chuck just, just lives in her house now. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's just honestly no hope for her or her family. They're just gone because. I mean, it's not like Sam and Dean are her friends, especially after the way she burned that bridge in the last episode she was part of. I mean, there's no one to save her. That's just it. She's just gone. What do you think Owen meant, though? Because he said... They're Don't worry, dead. they're not dead. They're, they're just, they're just, just sunk them away. away. Maybe. I don't imagine anything good. Maybe that'll yeah. be maybe that'll be the next house. Maybe they will come back. Maybe he sent them to nothing. The place the angels go when they die. So they didn't die, they sent them to nothing. And then when Jack comes back from the nothing. I have a feeling they're just gone. Yeah. Well, that's more than likely. Yeah. But maybe. Maybe there's some hope. There's no hope. I think it's going over shorter reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they would send down, they're not going to come back for it. I mean, more likely not. This is going to be a... Uh, Even if we do find out where they are? This is going to be the, the put on the bus trope. Where they're kind of mentioned that, oh yeah, they're going to do something, and then they just never come back. Yeah. It's a trope. Oh my god. It's a trope. Then a whole bunch of stuff. You know, the characters like, oh, they make an offhand mention the character left for something and then they just never come back. Mm-hmm. I feel like I just watched an episode of A Million Little Things. That's mm-hmm. what I feel like. I feel like I just watched that. A Million Little Vampires. <laughs> Alright. Well. Seems worse, though. <laughs> oh, no. You gotta watch season one. Mm. You'll feel like this at the end of every episode of season one. But this... I don't know, guys. Well, here's hoping that next episode will be a little bit lighter. I have a feeling nothing's gonna be light anymore. Remember when they used to have those seasons where they had like a couple filler episodes stuff? But I thought this episode was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be filler. I thought it was gonna be like their earlier seasons, but I forgot that last season you would think it was gonna be a filler because the first half of the episode was like meh, but then it would somehow something would happen and it would tie into the whole canon of it all. And I had hope. I had hope. You know, one of my favorite episodes is the one where Chuck comes back and he's like singing in the bar and you feel such hope and I like cried with happiness in that episode and I felt so much hope and now it's like we're on such a far opposite of that. I just... And this is like the polar opposite of like mm-hmm. how like Chuck would have been. Well, so we don't have another video where 
around chopping out long stretches of hoping. <laughs> we should probably go ahead and sum this one up and bring it to an end. I know. I know. So, we all agree. Great writing. Yeah, great directing. I mean, all of it was great. At mm. from mm. Look, it was a great episode. From a storyteller's point of view, it was great. It was mm. an amazing story. It really moved you. I mean, even when it comes to a character that, honestly, we haven't seen for many, many seasons. The last time we saw her, let's be honest, none of us liked her. really liked her at all. We yeah. never liked her character. I mean, we get it. She's a part of all of us because we're all fangirls about something. I get it. But that whole striking a deal with a demon thing and all that stuff, like, they made her kind of unlikable at the end there. And then... We went many, many seasons where she was just not there, and then in this episode, somehow, in that little bit of an episode that she was part of, because they weren't in the whole thing, there was a whole separate storyline going on, somehow they just, they made you feel so much, so strongly for a character that honestly wasn't even on our list of people who came back. I didn't even make the list. She never would have made the list. No. Honestly, I wouldn't have even remembered. I would have guessed Kevin Tran's mom. I'd have guessed Meg. I'd have guessed anybody before I'd have guessed her. And then Ghost they Jesus. just Yeah. And then they just made you hurt. They just Man. It was dark, guys. And then the way the son just like left his family and just accepted it, like it was just, you had all of that happening at once and it was just hard. Like I have a son, I get it, it was, man guys, it was hard. In case you were wondering, yeah, she's talking about Julius. <laughs> Even though he is taller than me, he's still my baby, and that hurt me to my soul. That's why baby Pua is here, to make it all go away. Otherwise, it would have been a completely different stuffed animal, completely different outfit, more digressions, more craziness. I just don't have it in me today, guys. I'm sorry. I had goosebumps, I had chills, it was, it was bad guys, it got dark. So, another great example of amazing writing, but we're not fans of the plot right now. I mean, if this can build into a great, a great ending, then it'll be awesome. I mean, this is, this still has potential. Maybe not a happy ending, maybe Sam and Dean will still die in the end, but there's still a potential to make a great sort of... I think they're still going to do a great job at the end, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll probably I feel just, so much better I'm because not, of how I'm destroyed not feeling, we are. I'm not feeling hopeless because I don't think it's going to be a good season. I'm feeling hopeless because by the fourth episode... I'm feeling like no one's making it out of this, guys. Not even us. We're not going to be intact after this season. It's going to take a part of us. And it's going to kill that part of us. Hard. Well. It might. Brace yourselves, guys. Because this was only episode four. Four. I need you to understand that. Is he, like, this is half. This is half of the American oh. Horror Story season right now. Their yeah. season was nine episodes, and I could not give less of a shit for those characters. But this is four episodes. We still have like nineteen more episodes to go. Hypothetically, I don't really know how many episodes there are, but usually there's about twenty-three. Can you go through nineteen more days of this? 19 more weeks of this? Who 
Well, you ain't gonna have no stuffing left. <laughs> I'm gonna squish you so hard. I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna call them, uh, <laughs> Toy Story Police or something. <laughs> Starting with a good pun there and I fail. Combat Club? Anyway, so I'm not gonna say I was looking forward to the next episode, but we're definitely. I, am. I appreciate yeah, it making me feel. Like this I'm looking forward. To it. Okay, well they're looking forward to it. I'm. A, it's weird because I'm not really looking forward to it. I'm sort of kind of like. Oh, I am scared for but this dark, dark story that Chuck apparently wrote and has prepared for Sam. On those cheerful notes. <laughs> I mean, all of these past seasons is Chuck being nice. I just want you guys to understand that. <laughs> I think that is. Pretty sure anyone who watches is probably also a big fan of Supernatural. No, I need you guys to understand. Oh, you need us to understand it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We understand. Okay, my guys. Anyway, if you like our. Uh, we weren't really crazy this episode. No. If you like our content, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we know these reviews don't get a ton of hits, but we're to keep making them. Um, please feel free to check out our other series we're doing. We're doing uh, Ruby reactions as well and Ruby reviews. Um, by all means, we're here. We love story. We love storytelling. If you suggest things for us to watch, we might watch them. Mm -hmm. So uh, go ahead, leave comments below. We'd love to talk to you guys. And uh, hope you guys uh, are as excited as we are for the next episode.